Rather, they start from Bukhara and Samarkand and Neshapur and Balkh and Harat and come to the border of India and Pakistan. This is the special part of the world where many, many Aimmatul Hadith, Aimmatul Ilm, and Aimmatul Tasawwuf were born. Imam Bukhari was born in Bukhara, in Uzbekistan, in Central Asia. Imam Muslim was born in Neshapur, and Neshapuri. One of the a capital city of the province of Khurasan, very big province of Iran, capital city of Khurasan. And this Nasapur was the capital, was the center of hundreds of Aimmatul Hadith wal Ilm and hundreds of Aimmatul Tasawwuf wal Wilaya. Hundreds. If you go through the books of Tabaqat, Tabaqatul Muhaddisin, Tabaqatul Uliya, Tabaqatul Ahlil Ilm, and you go to the books of Tazkira, and you go through the books of Asma'ul Rijal, written on their lives, you will find hundreds and hundreds of the names. Everybody, one way or the other, belongs to Nasapur. And this is the place where Imam Bukhari came and stayed for a long time. And his shuyukh were also from Nasapur. Some of his shuyukh. Some. Then Imam Tirmazi. He also belonged to Tirmaz, a place near Bukhara and Samarkand. The same country as Bukistan. Then Imam Abu Dawood, I am talking of Ashab Sitta, Sihab Sitta. Ashab Sihab Sitta. <laughs> the great six Aimma Imams of Hadith. The fourth Imam Abu Dawood, already he comes at number three because I mean, Imam Muslim is student of Imam Bukhari. And Imam Abu Dawood is not student of, he is neither student of Imam Bukhari nor of Imam Muslim. He is student of the Shuyukh of Bukhari and Muslim. Imam Abu Dawood is class fellow of Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim. He received directly from their shuyukh. Imam Abu Dawood, a Sajistani. And then comes Imam Tirmazi, who is their student, Imam Tirmazi. So Imam Abu Dawood was also from these countries. Sajistan. Some of the scholars historians and specialists on Buldani Yat, Buldan. They say his village or town, Sajistan, was somewhere in Faras, in old Persia, in Iraq. But the scholars say that we couldn't find any city or any town in this name in that part of the world. This is other view. So it, is, it has not been found over there. So second view is that Sajistan was also in Khurasan, in Iran. And third view is that Sajistan was in Afghanistan, near Harat, Balkh and Harat in this line. So again Imam Abu Dawood, a Sajistani was Afghani. Aimmatul Ilm up till now, originally his Ayla belongs again to Central Asia. And hundreds of years before they shifted to Arab world, probably to Maghrib and then to, and to Syria and Damascus, as I remember. That's why he is As Sagarji. Sagarja. Then students of Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim all belong to these countries. His first student of Imam Bukhari, Imam Farabri, 
They are both words, farabri or firabri. He belonged to the same ilaka farabra. Their students, Imam Sarakhsi, belonged to Sarakhsa, the same country. Central Asia, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, these countries. And then to Khurasan and Iran, and then to Afghanistan. And then Imam Nasai from Nasa, again from Iran. Imam Ibn Majah from Qazvin, again from Iran, the same province, Khurasan. 